Arithmetic sequence, by definition, is basically a sequence of number whose difference between consecutive terms are the same. Now, sa lesson natin today, aaralin natin yung mga problems involving arithmetic sequence at kung paano kumuha ng mga series of numbers associated to arithmetic sequence. Now, unang-una, kailangan alam nyo yung formula sa arithmetic sequence at ang formula sa arithmetic sequence is given by a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, ito yung formula na susundan natin para matiyak na yung series of numbers na meron tayo eh, considered to be arithmetic sequence. Now, yung a sub 1 sa formula will be the first term of the sequence. Yung n naman will be the number of terms. At saka yung d, yun yung tinatawag na common difference na unique para sa arithmetic sequence. Now, meron akong mga examples ng... Uh, series of numbers at i-verify natin kung yung mga numbers na yan na nasa series ay considered to be an arithmetic sequence. Now, so number one, ang mga numbers ko will be 7, 11, 15, 19, given by the uh, formula 4n plus 3. Now, i-verify natin kung ang formula na yan or kung ang sequence na yan ay arithmetic by finding the common difference. So, pag sinubtract nyo yung second number to the first, it will be equal to 4. Yung third number to second, it will be 4. At yung fourth number to your third number, it will also be 4. So, mapapansin nyo na yung mga difference ng bawat number from uh, the second term to the first term and third term to the second term and so on ay pare-pareho. Kaya ito ay considered na arithmetic sequence dahil sa kanilang common difference. And that's how simple you verify a sequence kung siya ay arithmetic or hindi. So, so number 2, meron tayong 1, 4, 7, 10 na given by the sequence 3n minus 2. Verify natin kung ito ay arithmetic sequence at mapapansin nyo na yung common difference nila nag exist kasi pare-pareha silang 3. So, itong example number 2 ay considered to be an arithmetic sequence ulit. Now, kailan siya magiging hindi arithmetic sequence? Magiging, um, hindi siya magiging arithmetic sequence kapag syempre, pagka sinubtract nyo yung second number to the first at yung third to the second, iba-iba yung difference na nakukuha nyo. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya magpa-fall under arithmetic sequence. Sa example natin na to, kailangan daw nating hanapin yung formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence whose common difference of 3 and whose first term is 12. So, ang mga given values dito sa problem natin ay yung common difference at yung first term. Now, alam natin na ang formula to verify the arithmetic sequence is given by a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, sa formula na to, gagamitin natin yan para makuha yung formula for the nth term doon sa arithmetic sequence. Now, i-organize natin yung mga given values at ang mga given values will be a sub 1 which is 12, first term is 12, with a common difference of 3. So, yung dimo is 3. Now, plug in lang natin siya doon sa ating formula. So, yung a sub 1 nyo will be 12, yung, yung d naman will be 3, tapos yung n minus 1 nyo it will still be n minus 1 kasi hindi naman siya given sa problem. At ang hinahanap natin is yung general form. So, ang gagawin nyo na lang is to simplify your formula. So, yung 12 plus n minus 1 times 3. Um, distribute 3 to n and to 1. And you'll have 12 plus 3 n minus 3. By simplifying the formula, yung inyong nth term ng inyong ar arithmetic sequence will be a sub n equal to 3n plus 9. So, ito na yung tinatawag na formula ng inyong sequence na merong common difference na 3 at ang first term ay 12. Dito naman sa example na to, we are given the first four terms of the arithmetic sequence and the first four terms are 10, 8, 6, and 4. Now, what we need to do is to find the 23rd term of this arithmetic sequence. And to find the 23rd term of the, of the arithmetic sequence, we will use the formula at syempre, hahanapin natin yung mga values na pwede natin makuha para magamit natin yung formula. Now, sa sequence na to, makukuha natin yung first term at ang common difference. So, ang gagawin lang natin, syempre, alam natin na yung ter uh, 10 will be our first term at ang common difference, makukuha natin siya kung pag sinubtract natin yung second term to first, third to second, 
and fourth to third, pare-parehas yung lalabas. At ang mapapansin nyo, we have negative 2, negative 2, and negative 2. So ang a sub 1 natin is equal to 10, at ang common difference natin will be negative 2, base dun sa given na first four term. Now, na meron na tayong a sub 1 at saka d, enough na yan para masagot natin yung question na kung saan hahanapin daw natin yung 23rd term. So ang formula ng arithmetic sequence is a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now, dito sa formula na to, hahanapin natin yung a sub 23. And to find the value of a sub 23, just plug in all the values that we found dito sa ating first four terms. So since 23rd term ang hinahanap natin, replace natin si n by 23. Since ang a1 natin is 10, replace natin si a1 ng 10. At si n na hinahanap natin is yung 23rd term. So 23 yung ating n. At yung common difference natin will be negative 2. Now, by just simplifying the formula, makukuha natin yung value ng 23rd term. So, ang a sub 23 will be 10 plus 22 times negative 2, which will give us negative 34. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung ang first four terms natin is 10, 8, 6, and 4, yung 23rd term na probably nandito will be negative 34.